Okay, at this time I'll call the budget committee meeting to order and ask for everyone to please register their presence. Mr. Chairman, you have five members present. Thank you. I'll now ask for the emergency announcement to be played. Before we get started, let me read the emergency evacuation procedures. In the event of an emergency evacuation, an alarm will sound. Everyone should exit the building by way of the nearest stairwell in a safe and effective manner. If the nearest stairwell is blocked by smoke, use the other stairwell. Do not use the elevator. Once you have reached the main floor, follow the exit signs to exit the building and quickly proceed away from the building. Please be mindful of others evacuating and of emergency vehicles. Thank you. I now ask if there's any input on items on the agenda tonight. Seeing none, I'll ask for the approval of the minutes from November the 7th. Uh, they, uh, the minutes that are they're in your packet, and they need, I need a motion for the Chair, approval. I move we approve the minutes. Second. Have a motion. Have a second. Any discussion? I'll ask for a roll call, or I'll ask for a vote. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, I, item E1A transfers Blount County Sheriff's Office Cops Grant Award 41,451. County matches 25% on this. Do I have a motion to forward this to the agenda committee? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Have a motion, Commissioner Taylor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Lewis. I now ask, is there any discussion or any questions on this? Any discussions or any questions? Is anybody pushing any buttons? Because I'm not showing anything. Okay. Uh, Mr. Vineyard? The uh, item you have in front of you is, is stated on the agenda is the county's match. This is a transfer within the sheriff's department to pay for the local match. To get the total picture, you need to look at the following resolution. We tried to group these since they're companion resolutions. It represents the 75% contribution that the county would receive from uh, the federal government for these grants. But the sum of these only represent the current fiscal year impact. It has nothing to do with subsequent years. It is a three-year grant, if I remember correctly. Okay. So if I understand Mr. Bender correctly, the money is in the budget for this year. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Kaler, do you have something you want to say? No, sir. Okay. Is there any other questions or discussions on this? Mr. Chair, can I can Yes, I ask, yes. Can yes. I ask that they refresh my memory? On, you can ask that they refresh your memory. Could uh, you refresh my memory on exactly what this grant encompasses, please? Sheriff, would you like to come up, please? Good evening. Yes. Uh, this is a COPS grant for six deputy sheriffs. Uh, we were just one of two East Tennessee counties that were awarded this grant uh, based on you know population and, and officers for service and other elements. What we're going to do with this grant is with the six deputies are coming in, two of them will go in the high schools. We have one SRO in each high school. In the high schools, we think we need two genders. We need a male and a female in each high school to make it safe so we can search bathrooms and different other things like that. It's gender related. Uh, three of them will go to patrol function. There'll be one on each shift, and the last one would go to the investigations function. Uh, it, it's a great win win. It's a three year grant. The federal government pays 25% of this. And we're excited to be able to better serve the community with some deficiency we have in manpower and population growth. Can I ask yes, another question? Yes, you can. Uh, Sheriff Barone, could you, could you, for the two officers that you propose to put in our high schools, one in each one, yes, would you make a total of two for each, correct? Two Four for total. each, correct. Um, 
would we then have some added responsibilities for those officers in the school in addition to what we already have? What would be the justification for two versus one? Well, mainly the justification is the population of the high schools. You know, they're bumping 1,800 to 2,000 students with one deputy there right now, and it's hard to manage what they've got today. Uh, and we've asked for some in our budget for the last couple of years to fill that void or vacancy or need. Uh, so they would be able to do more things, whether it be more uh, in the parking lot, more in the cafeteria at different times, more in the classroom. Uh, there's an untold number of things that they would benefit those students and faculty. And that still includes, though, your responsibilities around the public safety, traffic, vehicles? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any more questions or discussion? Continue. I'm sorry. Oh. Once, once the grant is completed in three years, then we have an additional headcount of six officers that will go into your budget. Yes, part of the COPS grants, they stay with us. But the way the community is growing, the, the societal needs, uh, the changes that we have, the enforcement, we're going to need those whether we get this grant or not, you know, at, at some point in time before the three years are up, I would think. Is your, is your attrition plan going to help or hurt it any, having six additional bodies to your budget? Now, repeat that. Having six additional bodies in the budget four years from now, yes. do you think there, that by attrition that may balance out some, is that still going to leave you in the hole, or will you be, do you anticipate that you will still be where you need to be in four years? We'll have to have some more growth in, in four years, in, in three years from now. This will just help us uh, between now and then. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, I'll ask for the vote, please. Mr. Chairman, there are five yes votes. Thank you. Increase 2A, Resolution 1712001, Blount County Sheriff's Office, 124,353, to establish the budget for the COMPS grant that we just voted on. Do I have a motion to forward this to the agenda committee? So moved. Forward. Motion by Commissioner Lewis. Do I have a second? Second, second by Commissioner Kaler. Is there any discussions or questions on this? Okay. Seeing none, then I'll ask to, to please register your vote. Mr. Chairman, there are five yes votes. Thank you. E2B, uh, Resolution 1712002, Blount County Sheriff's <laughs> Office. This is a $118 correction of records associated with distress warrants. Do I hear a motion? Or is there any discussion or questions on this? Any discussion or questions? Mr. Chair. Yes. Go ahead. I guess I, I really don't see the justification for increasing the sheriff's budget uh, for this particular matter. Okay. It's on the floor that this matter uh, not be moved on is there unanimous consent on that all those in favor say aye aye, aye. any objections seeing none uh, we'll move on item e2c resolution 1712003 records management this is a two thousand nine hundred dollar state board programming grant for a records management system do i have a motion to forward this on to the to the agenda committee. So moved, Mr. Chair. Ms. Hannum, do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Lewis. Is there any discussion or any questions? Please register your vote. Mr. Chairman, you have five yes votes. Item F1, this is a smack F, Blount County Animal Center MOU. It's been revised. Uh, Randy, you want to just give us a little insight on this before we, I ask for the motion, please? Uh, 
As you know, we have a um, MOU currently with the Smoky Mountain Animal Foundation and, or Care Foundation, and they pay for a portion of the operations of the animal center. That current agreement is very detailed in how the county is supposed to handle certain transactions. Dina then has to turn right around to comply with the MOU uh, or to comply with the generally accepted accounting principles. She has to undo some of those transactions to put them in gap uh, basis. So we had a meeting with the board chair and their lawyer and asked them if they would be willing to simplify their current MOU that we have with them so that we don't violate generally accepted accounting principles. They were uh, enthusiastic to do that. And uh, their lawyer had redrafted it. We find it acceptable and that's what's in front of you. It makes reference to a separate lease agreement uh, that Katie has reviewed for us. And that agreement and the lease agreement is in front of you that's why it says revised on here so you don't have to prove the lease agreement but uh, we wanted you to have it so that you would know what we were referencing and that's for the transport vehicle thank you i do have a motion to forward this to the agenda committee so moved, Mr. Chairman. commissioner lewis made the motion do i have a second 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 by miss hannum is there any questions or any discussion that anyone has Seeing none, I'll ask to register your vote, please. Mr. Chairman, there are five yes votes. Thank you. <coughs> Item F2, the budget process calendar for fiscal year 18-19. What happened to 17, really? <laughs> the, uh, do I have a motion to forward this uh, budget calendar, <coughs> process calendar on to the agenda committee? Commissioner Moon moves forward it on. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Ms. Hannum. Is there any discussion or any questions anyone has on this? Seeing none, I'll ask for a register your vote, please. Mr. Chairman, there are five yes votes. Thank you very much. Item F3, grant worksheet. This is for a community development block grant. Uh, the the applica applicant is Tuckalichi Utility District, uh, who will be responsible for the match. This time, Randy, if you'll give us uh, the insight on this before I ask for the for this to be forwarded on, please. Community development block grants can only be applied for by counties or cities. Uh, the utility district has a a water line extension project that covers two areas. Uh, I believe land, if I'm not mistaken, and the total project cost is $960,000 They're eligible for the Community Development Block Grant up to $525,000. You should have a resolution in front of you from the Utility District Board uh, that met last night requesting this. Uh, the con conditions, uh, the county would have no financial conditions. We would be time and effort is our role into the process that we would be re responsible for bidding the project. Um, we're also responsible for um, making sure that there is a public meeting as well. And then there would, at some point, we would have to have a memorandum of understanding if we get the grant so that the utility district can uh, work with the highway department to implement the project. Thank you, Randy. Do I have a motion to forward this to the agenda committee? Commissioner Lewis made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner Kaler made the second on this. Um, uh, before we go on, I, I would like, to, Lynn, will you, would you come up and explain what this grant, what this is going to do for the citizens that, that are served by Tuckaleechee Water District? Just give us a little insight on what we're going to be able to do for some of those areas up there. Or if you want Rick, Rick, if you want to come up, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't see. Okay. Okay. But um, as Randy said, this is a community development block grant. 
It is a grant program that's available only to cities and counties, but 85% of these funds, which are about 25 million a year, are made available for water and sewer projects. And uh, they are very common that cities and counties will apply for the grants and then sign an intergovernmental agreement between the utility district and the county to implement the project. Lisa will answer any questions about the project. You have a question? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. I have a, just a couple of questions. Has there already been done an economic, um, a, a feasibility study or, or, or a look at whether the area in question would be able to, with community black block grant funds, normally you have to justify doing that. Have you already done that? Have you already run those no, tracks? No, we have not. We, we'll have to do a survey. Mm -hmm. uh, to determine the uh, incomes because these grants are primary for low and moderate incomes. And uh, the state has yet to issue what those grant limits are this year. Mm -hmm. But last year, a family of four was about 36000 So depending on family size, uh, but we believe looking at the census data and the demographics of the census data that this area should be eligible. Okay. But we will have to do a door-to-door -door survey or a telephone survey to get actual data. Okay. And when, when uh, this grant, can I continue? Yes. When, 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 does the, when do you have to sign off on this grant? Well, the how, how much time do you have to do all of this? The application has to be submitted by February the 23rd, but it's usually late in the summer before we find out if we're going to get funded. Okay. And then an environmental has to be undertaken. So it would be, it, it would be a year or longer before uh, construction would begin. Okay. And in the memorandum of understanding, it's clearly spelled out the responsibilities of Blount County government versus Tuckalichi. Yes, yeah, so those will be spelled out in an intergovernmental agreement. Okay. That'll Thank you so much. That will be looked at by, by attorneys for both the Thank utility you. district and the county. <coughs> Thank you. Anything else? Can I add one thing also yes, about cool. this project? I'm with the, if you're not familiar with the CDBG projects, um, the people that do qualify in this area, um, they not only get a free tap, but this um, grant pays for their service line and the connection to their home. So there's literally no cost at all for um, the people who qualify in that area. So it's an opportunity for them to get public water at, at no charge for them. Thank you. Some of the uh, CDBGs that the county or the cities within the county have used in the past to fund several projects include a um, community livability project in Alcoa for the MLK Center. 300000 was uh, applied for and received for that project. Uh, water lines for Alcoa to extend water service into Rockford. Uh, several housing CDBG projects in the Hall Oldfield neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So these are common projects that, or common types of CDBG projects that Blount County has worked on in the past, or the cities in the county. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Yes, sir. This one, Mr. Lewis. Uh, geographically, what what area are we talking about for the grant? Old Chihaui Road. We originally had two areas when we came to meet with you guys, but um, the cost for the one was way, way out of out of any kind of reach we could do. So this is Old Chihaui Road, starting at um, uh, Cold Springs, and then ending at because we had to look this up last night, Munsey Hatcher Road. It's about 1,150 feet, and there's 48 houses in this area. It will also help connect a road that comes up Blair's Loop right now and it will help connect a line so it also helps our system as far as just um, hydraulics in that system but it's 1150 feet out of Old Chihaui Road. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Thank you all very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'll ask to register your vote, please. Mr. Chairman, there are five yes votes. Thank you. 
Uh, item G's financial reports. This is for information only. November financial reports. This is also for information only. Uh, there's no further business. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved to adjourn. Second. 